everybody, welcome to Cook with Brooke. And today we are gonna make potato leek soup. And I'm excited about that. In the winter time, I love to make soup. In fact, I love to make soup year round, but uh, I love just a cozy, warm and comforting soup that has a good velvety texture. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. So what we have is the two main ingredients. We have leeks and we have potatoes. And I, my choice is, um, yellow Yukon potatoes. So I like how creamy they are. And so uh, I've diced those up. What we need is about eight cups of leeks. So we have a leek here and I'm just going to dice it up, cut it. So what you want is the white and just part of the light green stem. But this was, this looks a little tough. So I'm just going to pull that off. Now, one thing I want to tell you, and then everything here, goes into my compost bowl. But one thing I want to tell you is leeks grow in sand, kind of dirt, like a sandy dirt. So you really want to clean them well. So what you do is you slice them in half and look at all that grit. So let me show you how to clean the leek. Now that the leeks are clean, let me just dice them up and then we're gonna get ready to go. And one little tip I wanna share with you is when you cut, you wanna have your fingers tucked in like this so that way the knife just runs right along your fingers. I, I tend to be a little bit of a nervous Nelly and I hold my hands back just a little bit, but just let the knife do it for you, but you always gotta respect the blade. Don't wanna get cocky. There we go. So I'm gonna add these over here to the leeks. What I have in here, I have about eight cups of leeks. Now, it's time to start sauteing. So let's get going on that. So to get started, what I have here are six tablespoons of unsalted butter. And you wanna just heat that on a medium low flame until the butter is completely melted. And then we're gonna add in our leeks. The butter's ready. So now I'm gonna stick in the leeks. Very carefully, cause I don't want them spilling all over the place. Now it looks like a lot of leeks, but these are gonna cook down. And one thing um, you don't wanna do is you don't want to brown your, your leeks. So, I'm going to stir these around in the butter, get them coated, and then I'm going to keep the heat on medium low and cover for about 10 minutes. But every once in a while, I'm going to come in and stir. Okay, so I've got them covered in the butter and they're simmering nicely. So I'm just going to cover them for about 10 minutes, checking periodically. Okay, it's been about five minutes. So I'm just going to check it and see how they are. I'm going to give them a little stir and see how much they've, they've cooked down. That's what you want, but you don't want them to get brown. That's important, but they're looking really good. Okay. So it has been 10 minutes. What I'm going to do is uncover it. I'm going to put some flour in there and then I'm going to add my broth. And one rule of thumb that I learned from Thomas Keller, um, from one of his cookbooks, but is whenever you're adding liquid to something that is cooking, make sure that the liquid is warm. So what I've done is I've just had this broth simmering over here and it's nice and warm and then I'm gonna add it to the leek. So let's see. They look really good. I'm just gonna put this aside for a second. I'm gonna add my flour and make sure this was uh, a heaping tablespoon of flour and this is gonna thicken it a little bit but you don't want to thicken it too much because the, the potatoes are going to be a thickener also. So you just want to cook the rawness out, out of the flour. Just make sure all of the leeks are covered. And that looks about right. It kind of is a spongy almost looking, but uh, that's, that's the look that you want. So now I'm going to add 
the broth. I'm going to add it slowly, but stirring constantly. And make sure your pot's all the way over so you're not making a mess on your stove. I say that from experience because I've done that. So, all right. All right, that's good. So let me put this in the sink. I'm gonna add the potatoes very carefully. Stir them around. Incorporate them. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my cover, turn this to high and cover it and cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes are starting to get uh, tender, a little bit soft. So let me get the cover. We're gonna cover this. I'm gonna crank it up to high and we're gonna cook it for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's 10 minutes, it, it was at a high boil. I did stir it a couple times in there just to make sure nothing was sticking or browning. And I turned it down to medium again and I'm gonna leave it uncovered for about seven minutes until the potatoes are fork tender. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna just check the potatoes and see if they're fork tender, which they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna go get the lid. And then I'm gonna take it off the heat with my trusty heating pads and let it sit off the heat for about six to seven minutes. So all of the flavors blend together and the potatoes get really soft. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so they have been sitting for about five to seven minutes. The potatoes are really tender, which is perfect. And uh, you could either serve it like this or you could blend it. You could put it in an immersion blender like this. But I really, really like a really velvety, smooth texture of a potato leek soup. So I'm gonna take the extra step. I'm going to put it in the blender and blend it and then put it through a sieve, a fine mesh strainer. And then I'm going to uh, put it back in this Dutch oven with a little bit of heavy cream just to get it rich and I'm gonna warm it through and then I'm gonna serve it. But to me, it's worth that extra step to go in the blender because I just love, it just makes everything so smooth and velvety and it's, it's delicious. So this is what I'm gonna do. Whenever you're putting something hot into a blender, you don't wanna to put too much in. So, well, rather than make things difficult, might as well take it off. And I'll probably put about three ladles full in at a time. If you put it in, if you put in too much, then it's gonna burst all over the place and you're just gonna have a, just a terrible mess on your hands and you don't want that. Okay, so um, no more than that. Seems like a lot, or not very much, but um, you just really don't want any more than that. Lock it in place, line up my arrows, put this down, start, and pray for the best. Didn't start. <laughs> it kind of helps to have the lid on tightly, so then it'll blend. So I got it on. Blend it for about two minutes. Well, maybe even just a minute. So it looks like this. Shut it off. Take this and then pour it through the mesh strainer. So it's a few steps, but it's worth it in the end. It really is. And if you don't, if you like it like this, this texture right here, then go for it. That's good. But I want it even a little bit smoother. So let me just show you how I'm going to do this. You just rub the spatula over the mesh strainer and see how it's just beautiful coming out. That's why this is really good meal to make, like a great soup to make over the weekend. 
Yum, yum. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna keep going. And once you've pressed as much as you can and you have a little bit of solids left over, you could go ahead and put those right into your compost bowl. All of it pressed through the strainer. Look at how smooth that is. It's just so pretty. And it's gonna be delicious. And wait till I show you what I'm gonna to top it with. So put this back in just to warm it through. And then we're gonna add a little of this cream. I got about a third of a cup. I'm just gonna mix it in. It's warmed. And we're just gonna mix it in and then warm it through. And then the soup is gonna be ready to plate. Look at how pretty. Ah! Smells so good too. This is gonna to taste like a loaded baked potato when I'm done. All right, time to taste test. Put it in the bowl. I'm gonna do a couple ladles full. Look at how yum. yum. Then I'm gonna to top it with some prosciutto bits. I mean, come on. Less is not more here. A little of that, a few chives. Good to go. Look at how pretty. I'm gonna get a little bit of prosciutto, little chives. Let's see. Mm. So good. I'm gonna eat the whole bowl right now. Thank you so much for joining me today for Cook with Brooke. Uh, please do make this potato leek soup. It is delicious. It's a perfect weekend meal. I'd love for you to subscribe to my blog if you haven't already at farmhouse1820.com. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can see that right here. And I'm also going to be posting this on Instagram and on Facebook. So bon appetit, everybody. Enjoy.